Uh, g'day. Today I'm just going to give a quick demonstration of setting up unit tests for Sitecore. Uh, this method was first shown by Mike Edwards in his blog, uh, which I'll link to in the description somewhere. Okay, so first thing we need to do is create a class library project. Okay. And now we need to install nUnit. So we'll head over to the NuGet website to get the command. NuGet would automatically download nUnit for us and add the references, add it into the references for us. Radio. Now we need to grab the cycle binaries. And the ones we need are lucene.net, um, cycle kernel, cycle logging, cycle nexus. Uh, let me just check, I think that's it. So we'll add them into our bin directory. So now let's add the references. So first off, we need to add some default ones. Where is it? System of configuration. We also need to browse and grab some cycle ones as well. Okay. Now the next thing we need to do is add an application config. So add a new application config. So now we need to add in some of the cycle configuration into our class library. So we need the web config and the app config. So we'll copy those guys and pop them into our project. Okay, web config. Let's add this guy in. Now we don't actually want to include the web config in the project. We just want to get some of the configuration out of it. So now we need to copy some stuff from web config to get a unit testing project working. We we'll also need connection strings. Grab this guy. Settings. Cycle node. And the one thing it needs, so let's just grab all of that. Check it in here. Righty O. So we've already added in a web guy here, so we need to go through each one of these files in our properties, we need to always copy. So I'll pause the video here and come back once that's done. Rightio, so that's all done now. Let's clean up our solution. Don't need that open anymore. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is find all references uh, to the path slash app config slash. Uh, now because we're running uh, it in, uh, in the unit test, everything needs to be a relative path to where it's executing, unlike in cycle where we have um, a static path. So let's do a global search for so 
for save with action plot. That should have a cookie here. Now we, that will need to change that. And then place them all. There we go. Rodeo, now that uh, we've changed that configuration, we need to get some uh, DialOS's test tube. Set up this account before, so let's just see if we've got assets. Yep, we've got some glass databases here, which is what I'm going to be testing against. So, on connection strings, our user ID is going to be our password is going to be password. Now, localhost is going to be our server is going to be localhost. Uh, actually, it's going to be this guy. Class database is going to be class cycle underscore database. Okay, so that's all done. Let's just uh, build the application and see what happens. Builds all good. Yeah, so we'll go back into our class, we'll just continue using this, and we need to tell mUnit that it's our test fixture, and we need to a uh, test. Database, and we're going to assert that it is not our oh. oh, yeah, So let's build this guy again. Now we have to flick over to NUnit and open up our assembly. So I call units test. Here's our test. Now let's run and cross our fingers. So this may take a little while, uh, and did in this case, um, due to the fact that it's running up a instance of Sitecore in the background um, before running the tests. That's all passed, so let's just write another test to see if we can get something out of the database.
Mulligan. And we're also going to assert that the name is going to be content. Is that so good? Let's build again. Go back to menu and run our tests and cross our fingers again. Uh, we've got an error. So what's the error? Ah, license exception. Got to set up the license. Okay, so let's fix up that guy. Okay, I think I figured out the problem. Our data folder was not pointing to the right place. So we do need to set this to a rail path as well. Now let's do a rebuild of the submission. Get back to end unit, run our test, and as we can see, the test is passed. We can also debug our unit tests by attaching to the end unit agent project on the test, and then we can step over things. So we've got an item that's come back from Sycor, not master the base. Well, that's all it. That's it for now. Uh, next screencast I'll probably show getting glass items back out of the database. Um, thanks for watching.